it's absolutely beautiful here. But I realized that the language barrier thing probably, um, it's not gonna work in my favor, but it's okay because, I mean, most people speak English. The only thing is my room is on the sixth floor and my legs already hurt, so I got a ton of crap on my back. Also, there are no numbers on these floors, so I don't even know if I'm on the sixth floor. So I was accounting. But let's see. Let's see. Y'all, I just found an elevator. What the heck? <laughs> this is why it helps to look around. I don't even know what floor I'm on. Let me stop jumping. I made it to my room. I made it to my room. <laughs> that was a whole maze getting in here. But I'm going to show you guys this room. Um, I was really kind of scared to get on the Uber because, I mean, he didn't speak English, which is fine, but I had like a coffee in my hand and he kind of pointed to it and was like, no. And I was like, <laughs> I mean, to be honest, if I was also driving in my own car, I would have been like, oh, you can't have no open coffee in my car. So totally understand, but he was he was very kind when he was helping me get on my backside of his vehicle. But I mean, the Airbnb is nice. I mean, for what it's worth, I don't know, I'm gonna show you. Um, wait a second. Uh, so there's a door, it's very small. Someone else is in here, I can hear them. But what's interesting is that this, this is open. How do you go? No freaking way. Oh, wow. Oh my God, I have my own balcony. Do I? No, someone else is in here. Oh my gosh. Prague is beautiful. Oh, that's so cool. Doing some construction. Line. I guess. Wow. So, I mean, I've only been here for like an hour, but I mean, it's giving me good vibes. It's giving me, I don't know. I've never been anywhere like this before. Like it feels different. Like it doesn't feel like Bali or Mexico or like <laughs> none of the other couple of countries I've ever visited. Um, it's very, very white. <laughs> but I'm also in Europe, so it makes sense. But like, I mean, yeah, I mean, people are really nice. As nice as you would expect from a country you've never been to before. I'm also kind of biased in my niceness scale because I was raised in the South where people kind of greet you and say, hey, how you doing? Stuff like that. But you don't really get that anywhere other than the Southern United States. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, like this view is amazing. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just think it's so awesome. So a part of me is just like, stay inside, go to sleep. I mean, this bed is so comfortable. <laughs> Why am I like this? <laughs> no, I'm gonna get up. Um, I have a list of things that I wanna do. I didn't make a long list because I'm only here for the weekend, but I do wanna see the Prague Castle at least and the Charles Bridge, which I pass, I take the Charles Bridge to get to um, Prague Castle. So I kind of knock out Two birds with one stone. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go. It's very sunny outside. I don't know if you can see. Um, yeah, it's just, I wanna get outside. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna force myself to get off of this bed and not take a nap like I want to. I'm not gonna take a nap, but I really, really wanna take a nap. <laughs> Charles Bridge now. It's pretty cool. <laughs>
challenging because I told myself I wasn't gonna walk these 40 minutes to Prague Castle, but you know, what the heck. <laughs> I feel fit. It's very utopian. Is that a word? Yeah, it's giving me it's giving me utopian vibes. <laughs> and I gotta pretend like I don't see people staring at me. <laughs> To be honest, I'm I'm really shocked. Like this is <laughs> this is worth the hike. Wow, uh, this view is spectacular. So interesting because I'm so freaking full but I decided to walk because I needed to walk this off it's just interesting because I see a KFC see that that's a KFC <laughs> all right Colonel <laughs> I think also what was most surprising was how walkable Prague is like I mean I feel like I can walk from restaurant to restaurant and there's like always police riding around and like Prague is a relatively safe city. I mean, every city has its thing, but I did a lot of research before coming here by myself. And Prague is definitely one of those cities where like a lot of solo travelers, digital nomad type thing, ex expats kind of hang out. So yeah, it's, it's walkable. I mean, I haven't done this much walking since I lived in DC, but um, I'm not gonna say that I don't need it. So yeah, it's just, it's so beautiful here. Like. I don't know. It feels like I've been here before, but not really. Like it's definitely it's totally different than what I've ever experienced. But I don't know. Like I don't feel I don't feel out of place. I mean, I seen I seen a few black people, maybe three, <laughs> since I've been here for a couple hours. But yeah, it doesn't really bother me because I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> I stayed up until four o'clock in the morning watching YouTube videos, which is not really good for you at all. So if you're watching this and it's early in the morning, just go to bed, just go to bed. Don't be like me. What we're gonna do today is go to a coffee shop. I do have a like a pub tour thing kind of plan, but I don't know if I'm gonna go because honestly, I don't really feel like drinking. And I know that sounds crazy, but I just do. Even though I booked 
the pub tour today at two o'clock. A piece of me just wants to sit here on this balcony and just chill and journal and relax and just not do anything. Like, <laughs> I definitely don't feel like walking around. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I don't want this block to be boring, but at the same time, I mean, I do have the jazz festival thing tomorrow. That's two social events, so let's see if I can handle that. It's a little too much for INFJ me. So let's see, I don't know. I think I may just go with the flow today and chill on the balcony all day. It's a beautiful day and it's quiet and maybe that's what I needed. So yeah, let's see, I don't know yet. So surprise, surprise. I actually ended up not going to the pub crawl. <laughs> I took that time and I slept. But what I will do is probably get an early dinner that way I don't have to have like it so heavy and I'm also starving. But the thing is, I wanna go back to that Vietnamese place, but I know I probably shouldn't eat at the same place two times in a row and there's so many awesome places to eat around here. But yeah, I'm gonna walk around. Um, probably not too far because, yeah, I don't know. It's five o'clock, so yeah, let's go exploring again. Girl, I want you by my side. I'm sorry that I made you. Best. 